Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Galactic Science with Arturio Ramirez. Well, in the last couple of days, uh, a lot has happened. As you can see, I, I finished mining out the big room and, and lighting it. And I have a little bit of automation going. Not a whole lot. Not everything is fully automated yet. Um, I've expanded this power system out to a, a 16 sterling generator system. Each one of those is producing 20 RF a tick. So that's 320 RF a tick and each one of these automating sieves is using 40 so I have a bit of a surplus even with the synthesizer and decomposer and the charger. So I've started setting up um, an automated sorting system here and it uses the relocator pipes. I don't have enough relocator pipes for all of it but you can see eventually I will. And right around where I'm standing here this is where ore processing will be where the the broken ores um, combined into ore gravel which will then get hammered into crushed ore which will get combined. Um, that system will be here and the output of that system will go down the relocator pipe into the sorting system. Um, the stuff that needs to go through a furnace will go here to this modular furnace system and this is pretty pretty cool. Uh, this was one of the things that Kathleen uh, showed us in the um, galactic science community world and I kind of wish this was part of the mod pack quest line. Uh, that's how how good this thing is. It takes an awful lot of resources to make. The the main component is the core which is not too bad. Uh, there we go. It's a furnace and eight pieces of iron. You need one of those and then you also need these IO systems, modular systems IO which is a dispenser follow, uh, surrounded by eight cobble. You need three of those. So that, that's not too bad. But each one of these other blocks, um, this modular furnace has to be in a cube. So it can either be three by three, five by five, um, seven by seven, or nine by nine in a, in a cube. So, And depending on what you use in the cube blocks, you get different effects. I, I don't know what all the effects are because honestly the documentation for modular systems is pretty bad. Um, but the coal seems to work very well. These are all actually coal blocks. When you assemble it all into a furnace it becomes a multi-block structure and so rather than coal blocks it, they turn into these modular processing dummies. Um, but the great thing about it uh, when it's built in this fashion you can feed it um, carbon from your your decomposer and I think one unit of carbon will do an entire stack of material so this is pretty powerful and it's also very fast let me let me just demonstrate this real quick so over here I've just been letting this run while I work a little bit upstairs on cosmetic stuff and work down here on cosmetic stuff um, just to produce resources and for right now Digging out this area gave me almost a full barrel full of the moon rock. And since what I primarily need now is iron, I've just been running that rather than gravel. So um, These fallen meteors, as I showed before, they produce iron ore and you get an awful lot of them, which is nice. Let me just show you this. Again, this will eventually be automated. For now, this is... Oh, this is not cooperating with me very well right now. Ah, that's why. The aluminum and the iron are very, very similar to each other. And I have a little bit of trouble telling them apart. So that's aluminum, that's aluminum. And that's iron. Okay. Let's try this again. 
the banding on the broken iron ore is just a little bit browner than the aluminum which is just a little bit pink but it's only a couple of pixels to look at it's easy to confuse them okay this will take a minute but uh, you know bear with me it doesn't take that long I just want to demonstrate how quickly that furnace works And for just uh, you know half a stack of the iron ore gravel, this doesn't take that long to do. Boy, this is going to give me an awful lot of iron, which I need. I have a lot of stuff to build. There's always so much to do. Only so much time to do it in. But I appreciate everyone's patience. And uh, maybe I won't do all of this right now. Maybe I'll just do this little bit. Just to kind of show you. how fast this modular furnace is. So this is the input port. That's the output port and that's the fuel port. So put the iron ore in there, iron ore dust. And as you can see, that's how quickly it produced all of that. Now, to make this, this was somewhere around 90 blocks of coal. Uh, I pretty much have saved every bit of coal that I've gotten out of the sieving process. Um, and I also took charcoal, probably 10, 10 stacks of charcoal, and used the, the decomposer and synthesizer to break it into carbon and then recombine it into coal. That's how much coal blocks it takes to make this. But I think it's every bit worth it because it's just, it is such a great way for smelting anything that needs to be smelting. Like if you need to smelt stone, you just throw it in this chest here and very very quickly um, like when I was doing all of this uh, I nearly loaded this chest with cobblestone and it took it just a couple of minutes just a very very short period of time to turn it all into stone that I used to make uh, the walls here and then up top there's walls too I'll show those to you later so this is definitely worth doing but what I really wanted to talk about today was how to upgrade the the obsidian generation system with awesomeite um, and a little confession here I actually already recorded this once and unfortunately no sound was recorded so I am, I'm re-recording this now so as you can see I've already got some awesomeite but I'm gonna make one just to kinda show you what this process looks like awesomeite's pretty easy to make it's like a two-step process. Um, actually, I need need one more, and I will use that in a minute. Okay, I'm trying to get used to a new mouse here. I got one that I hope is a little quieter. It doesn't react quite the same as my old mouse. So I'm kind of sliding all over the place with it. Okay, so those are the steps to make awesomeite. Oh. It looks like I need one more diamond and one more flint. Throw that in there, let it cook, and look how quickly you get that. 
Then you take these and combine them. Pure awesomeite. Okay, so so this is where the the lava generation system was for the obsidian generation and the other other materials. So we're going to rebuild this using awesomeite rather than lava. Now you may recall that uh, when this was set up before, using lava, it was a two, two times melting speed compared to uh, the base melting speed, which is using a, a block of coal or a burning furnace. So these are all eight times. And you can see that uh, the cobblestone generator is already putting cobble in. And it's already melting down. Happens very, very quickly. So now if we put these liquid transfer nodes on the side of the crucibles, and just that quickly it's done. So this will once again begin creating obsidian. It'll take it a few minutes to make the first little bit. Hmm. Let me just double check something here. Yeah, there's still water there. Okay, yeah, it's making obsidian. You can see it from here. It fills up the stone barrel with lava, turns to obsidian, and gets drawn out of there. So, in just uh, around 30 seconds or so, it's made three of them. So, it's much, much faster than it was. But that is uh, pretty much what I wanted to show you for this episode. I'm trying to do episodes that are a little shorter. I know 30 and 40 minute episodes are kind of tough for people to watch. So my target is 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. And um, I'll see you next time. Arturio Ramirez signing out.